Hi, I'm Julie Jarmolowski. And I'm Ron Pacioni with the k Grant Group and my home group. We're here today in Scottsdale at one of our newest listings. This gorgeous home is five bedrooms, three baths, and it has a beautiful self-contained casita in the back. It's a beautiful casita. It has a full kitchen. It has a walk-in closet. It has a laundry facility. It's fully contained. It is gorgeous. And since Ron and I were here today at an open house, we thought it would be an ideal time to chat with you about ADUs. Ron, what is an ADU? It's an auxiliary dwelling unit. A fancy name for a guest house. <laughs> one, of, one of the things that we learned recently is that the rules have changed a little bit. It used to be that in order to use the calculation of the income provided by an ADU, you had to have different kinds of qualifications. Yep. Most of us didn't qualify for them, but recently those rules have changed and now it seems like it's going to be positive for you to use the calculation of what an ADU would bring to you, potentially, Absolutely, right? You don't yeah. even have to have a renter in place. No, you don't have to have a lease. You just have to, um, through the appraisal process, mm -hmm. the appraiser will give an unbiased amount of rent you could generate, and that'll go towards your qualifications. It's really kind of an exciting opportunity, I think, for everyone. I think it's gonna open the doors to a lot of people who could not qualify, mm -hmm. and now they might be able to. I think so too. But you know, Ron and I are not mortgage brokers. So you're going to want to clear all of this information with your mortgage broker or your, your uh, real estate agent. Give us a call though, if you'd love to see this house or any other house here in the Valley. I'm Julie Jarmolowski. And I'm Ron Pacioni with the K Grant Group and my home group. Bye.